Hey guys, happy Friday. It's April 10th. Today we've got a three-parter for our workout and you're going to have three separate times to record down. So first part is going to be 30-20-10 of alternating dumbbell snatches and dips. So that means 30 alternating snatches, 30 dips, 20-20-10-10 time. At the eight minute mark, you're going to start the next portion. So that means you have to get done with it before the eight minute mark. The next portion is going to be 25-20-15 of goblet squats and an uneven dumbbell push-up. We'll go over that here in a second. Um, again, 25-25, 20-20, 15-15 time. And then at the 16 minute mark, you're going to go into the last piece, which is 15, 10, 5 of single arm dumbbell overhead squats and strict handstand pushups. All right. There is a 24 minute time cap total. All right. So that means this last portion, um, you've got an eight minute cap. Essentially, you've got an eight minute cap on each of the workouts. Okay. So let's go over our movements. From the top, our alternating dumbbell snatch. Just like any dumbbell snatch that we do, open standard, both heads of the dumbbell start on the ground. You're going to move it from the ground to overhead in one motion, like so. Good lockout at the top, and then you're going to switch. Both dumbbells touch at the bottom and back into your next rep, right? And that would have been three reps right there, okay? Um, if you don't have a dumbbell or something that you can snatch overhead comfortably, then I want you to do an up down to a target. So that's a burpee without a push up. And at the top, you're going to jump and touch a target that's out of your reach. So it forces you to jump in the air. Okay. On our dips, if you've got rings or bars to dip on, what I'm looking for is shoulder below the elbow at the bottom, back to a full lockout at the top. So start that full lockout, he goes down, and back to full lockout, and that is one rep, okay? It can be strict or kipping, that's up to you. If you don't have something like that to dip on, that's okay. You can use a chair or a bench. So he's gonna place his hands on the bench. Again, same thing, shoulder below the elbow at the bottom, a little lower. Back to full lockout, there we go, and that's a good rep, okay, and relax, All right? So to make that easier, the legs are bent, to make it harder, you can straighten your legs out, to make it even harder, you can elevate your feet onto some something higher, okay? Um, the next couplet, goblet squats, you're going to take whatever weight you have, whether that's a dumbbell or a kettlebell or a dog, you're going to hold it in your front rack position, you're going to squat all the way down by driving those knees out, setting the hips back and down, and then stand, right, one rep from the side, it's going to squat down and up, right, and relax. Um, if you don't have some sort of weight to squat with, then I want you to do jumping squats. Okay, and that looks like this. Remember on the jumping squats, I want you to have a solid squat first on the way down and then be explosive on the way up. So two reps look like this. Good, All right? Nice flat feet when he squats and he drives up aggressively out of the bottom. Um, uneven dumbbell push-ups. Essentially, it's a push-up, but you're going to have one hand on the dumbbell and one hand flat on the floor, so it makes it a little bit more awkward. All right, so he's going to place one hand on the dumbbell here. Hang on. All right, he's going to go chest to deck, just like a normal push-up, and then drive back up into full lockout. One more rep. Good and relax. If you don't have a dumbbell to do this on, that's okay. If you're going on the ground, you'll just ball up one hand in a fist and one hand on the on the ground. So on the ground. All right, so it's still uneven, chest touches the ground and he drives back up. All right. If we're still working on keeping that straight body on our push-ups, we can move this to a bench or a chair or a table. Again, one hand in a fist. The other hand flat, chest touches the object that your hands are on, and back to full lockout, and he's keeping a straight body the whole time, and rest. 
All right, so those are our options for the uneven push-up. All right, and our last couplet is going to be a single arm dumbbell overhead squat. This is a very challenging movement, especially for that overhead mobility. So you're gonna take the dumbbell overhead, good lockout overhead, and from there he's gonna squat all the way down and stand. All right, one wrap from the side, look straight ahead, squat all the way down, and stand. Good, and relax. All right. With that, you can switch arms as needed. Most people have a better side than the other. It's up to you. Um, I am a big proponent of working your weaker side. Uh, but again, it's up to you how many reps you want to do on one arm versus the other. But every squat counts as a rep. Strict handstand push-ups if you have them. If not, we'll do a box or a bench or a chair handstand push-up. So Mike's going to demo that here with the feet on the bench. He's going to back his hands up so his torso is vertical. Back him up a little bit more. Good. When he comes down, his head's in front of his hands at the bottom. He's going to drive up into full lockout at the top. One more rep. Good. If that's a little too tough, that's okay. You can go knees up. You're going to back your hands again so that torso is mainly vertical. So back your hands up a little bit more. Good. And when he goes down, head is in front of the hands. Back full lockout at the top. Head through the window. Good. And relax. Alright guys, so a lot of movements that we're going over there. Um, make sure to review this video as needed. Practice the movements uh, before you start so that you've got a good handle on them um, before you start the workout. On the uneven dumbbell push-ups, switch as needed. Try to get even um, on both sides so keep track of how many reps you did with one hand on the dumbbell and one hand on the ground and just make sure that is even. Okay. Again, your score is three parts, right? Three separate times, one for each couplet. Um, make sure to post it on Facebook, Instagram, and our blog. Have fun, guys, and we'll see you on Saturday.